what I want to do is is kind of dig out a pit to kind of contain the coals on the inside so I'm just gonna piece all these together and uh, should have us a good nice stone fire pit inside the teepee <laughs> All right, welcome back to the TP build, the TP series. Uh, so normally what I'd be doing now, uh, because we have some rain coming in, but normally what I'd be doing now is skinning the TP, getting the canvas on it, lacing that all up, and then do the rest of the work I need to do inside, especially with today. I'm trying to beat the rain today and get this all captured so that I can get it out to you uh, in YouTube land. But I need to put a fire pit on the inside. And one of the coolest things about the TP shelter, especially in the wintertime, is you know, being able to kind of get all cozy in your bunk and then when the fire starts dying down, you know, it gets a little chilly and that's chilly enough to wake you up and then you can just kind of reach over and put some more logs in the fire and then you're back in business, roll back over, go to sleep. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, I could just put it on the bare ground, but since this teepee is kind of a more of a, a semi-permanent type of structure, it's not a, not a survival shelter, it's not a temporary thing. Uh, I don't want to do the fire pit that temporary. So what I want to do is, is kind of dig out a pit to kind of contain the coals on the inside. Uh, and I want to line that with some pretty heavy rock. Uh, and that rock will absorb the heat and release it back into the inside of the TP as the fire dies down uh, and it gets colder and that'll extend the amount of time between me waking up and restoking it. So uh, in order to film that though, in order to video that really, you know, I don't want to, mess up the light by putting the shade on even though the rain's coming in so what i'm going to do is race to try to get this fire pit done then i'll skin the tp but that way you guys can see what i'm doing on the inside all right so i've got kind of dead center i'm just going to kind of outline where i want my fire pit to be and see what kind of rocks i'm dealing with So I've got my basic outline done of about the size I want it to be, just kind of a draft. I'll change it based on the size of the rocks. Throw out a GP cloth so I can put all the dirt on that and haul it out of here. save a lot of this to help me set the actual stones in here all right so the hole is about what i wanted i wanted about six inches deep because i've got about you know one and a half to two inch rocks for the base and then you know three to four inch rocks to kind of go around the side all right, i'm just going to pack those in put it together like a puzzle and uh <coughs> another bug i swear i ate more bugs on camera than than anything else uh you'd think i do is on that i'm doing it on purpose but i'm not uh yeah, so I'm just going to piece all these together and uh, should have us a good, nice stone fire pit inside the teepee.
right, guys, so I got my stone fire pit in. And, you know, it's not the prettiest thing, uh, but we'll see if it's functional. Uh, I used some of the mud that has been forming because it's raining today. Uh, used some of the mud as kind of a grout to kind of keep everything in place. Uh, but I'm not going to start the ceremonial first fire in the teepee uh, until it stops raining and I get the skin on and all that. But I just wanted to get that knocked out before I got the skin on because that would really make it hard to film uh, to video and share with you guys. So a little cricket in there. Right there. All right, he's gone. But anyway, uh, yeah. So just a little fire pit in the middle of the teepee. That stone is gonna absorb some of that heat and release it and keep me from having to get up all the time. Oh, I'll still have to get up and add. I say get up. I'll still have to reach out of my blanket and put a log on the fire, but it'll be less often. All right, so see you in the next one.